Okay, we're going to have a look at AutoCAD MEP of 2013, but this can also be done in AutoCAD Architecture 2013 to create custom structural profiles. First thing you want to do is make sure that you've got a polyline profile of the exact size of the structural uh, profile you need. So in this case, it's going to be a channel. Um, so say these members aren't available in the standard catalog. So we simply go to Manage and we go into our Style Manager. In our Style Manager in here, you'll see I'm running the MEP interface because uh, I've got all the HVAC objects. Um, but really what we're looking for are the architectural objects. And we want to simply start with the shape definition. And then here we'll create a new shape by right clicking. Um, we'll give it a unique name. Ideally you would give it the actual, uh, probably the length and width of the channel. So we're going to say this is 200 by 125. Under the design rules, we can simply go set from. So this is going to set it from a profile. And one of the key things in here is the actual insertion point. This is where it will come in um, when it's actually been inserted. So I'm going to go to the midpoint at the bottom of the channel. So there you can see our profile. Now we need to create this as a style. So to do this, I'm simply going to um, click on the button on the right hand side and go create style. Again, I'm going to keep the channel size as channel 200 by 125 and hit OK. So in here you can actually see that we've created the channel size. So let's test that to see that's there. The profile we can simply get rid of. I'm just going to zoom out a wee bit and I'm going to use my command BMAD. You'll see that the profile will be listed channel 200 by 125. And again we can actually simply bring it in. Because it's a structural member, again it'll come in uh, we can schedule this out now as well, but we can use tools like MITRE so we can actually pick it up and you'll see in the ribbon that the structural member um, options are here. So I'm simply going to MITRE these edges. So very, very powerful feature. And the next video what we'll look at is we'll create a custom part as a bracket and again we'll see how to sign it against that. Thanks for listening.